Artist Christopher Rabb is a product of the Ashtabula Harbor. His career started in, well, the fine art of vandalism. But these days, he's known for his murals at Smithfield, his work at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, on album covers, and many different mediums. And yes, he says Ashtabula has a thriving artistic community. Art as an interest started as a young child of, geez, earlier than I can never remember. I saw what art did to me as a personal emotion. I wanted to keep redistributing that into the world, so. So what did it do for you or to you? There was a, you know, cartoons, things, I, just TV, uh, uh, not so much comic books, but uh, some of the earlier artsy stuff that I got my hands on and um, going to star starving artist things as a young child just kind of, uh, I don't know, it just evoked an emotion. It was, it was much nicer than maybe walking by dilapidated buildings or things of that nature. So did you ever think you were doing anything about art? As a child, no. No, I, I never would have guessed this is where I'd be. I mean, it was, it was always a dream. I just, I was always told it wasn't uh, accessible, so I never, I never really went after it until, I don't know, about 09. In my earlier years, I was a vandal. I had done a lot of graffiti and things of that nature, so art was always incorporated in something, just not many constructive things. So you were a vandal? At, yes, at one point in time, yes. Yes, I was a So did they catch you? No, I was never, to, I have not to this day, I have not been caught. And I, I, when I turned 18, I had to put that part down because the time between getting caught when you're a juvenile in relation to doing it as an adult is much, much different. So. You talk about riding on other people's property now, but you know, there's a, uh, a dreamscape thing planned for downtown Nashville that includes, you know, paintings and stuff on them. Uh -huh on the sides of the buildings to spruce up the downtown, get more businesses there and get people downtown. Absolutely. So actually you're kind of on the right path. Yeah, I, you know, I, that job is, uh, I, I, I have no idea where that job's going. I do know that I think it's a wonderful idea and I, art is, you know, proven to boost economies everywhere. I mean, from Cleveland to Collinwood, to, geez, uh, there's a number, Ohio City, I mean, I could just, the list goes on and on and on, you know, um, arts are proven to help communities, and I think that the murals, if, if that's, if I'm not mistaken, what they're talking about, would be fantastic for that streetscape. Mm -hmm. I've done the Rock Hall, I, I painted a Les Paul that went in the Rock Hall, I've done album covers, I've done um, everything from graphic art to prints to acrylics on stretch canvas. The only medium I can think that I have not worked in yet is oils. Um, as far as an influence, you know, um, currently right now I have a shirt on by a, a, a Cleveland artist to the name of Derek Hess, um, who his structure inspires me. You know, I think that there's bits and pieces of every artist that internally inspire me, but as far as inspire, like um, seeing a Van Gogh and trying to replicate it, I, I, I don't get that kind of inspiration. Um, I do get the inspiration, though, of, I suppose, seeing structure or the fluidity of something mm -hmm. and letting that drive me. And, you know, I, uh, I am a self-taught artist and I have to pay homage to the, to the people and the predecessors who came before me and for whatever reason that is widely significant, I have to understand it has significance just as much as any other piece of art that goes into this world. So you've never taken a class in art? No, not formal classes. I mean, I did, you know, stuff in high school. I was actually prohibited from having Sharpies because I drew on everything that didn't move. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, as much as I can remember, no. I mean, I've had a lot of good mentors over the years, mm -hmm. um, but no, I've never taken a formal art class in my life, so. We were talking the other day a little bit, and your childhood wasn't always the best. Did, does, do you think your your mother died, what, like the day after you graduated from high school? It, it, was, it was a month after I turned 18, yeah. Okay. So you think that that influenced the way things were? It, it, you, you had problems with... Yeah, you had I, demons? <laughs> I, 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 you know, I, I had my issues with drugs and, mm -hmm. and, and everything else, and I think that every person's journey 
makes them what they are. You know, it, it's, uh, uh, I don't want to speak for any artist but myself, but I, I guess growing up in, in uh, a life that was less than favorable has <clears throat> added to giving back to things like Project Hope for the Homeless or whatever, because I, I realize that art, life, it, 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 everything's temporary. It's, you know, the direct impact, I, I don't know what that would be. I, I'm sure there's many ways it's implemented itself or, or found itself inserted into my life. But yeah, you know, the, the my mom overdosing and, and being in a homeless shelter and the number of things that have happened in my life that most people would consider, you know, bad or, or not so good, I'm sure have had their impact. I, I try not to directly let them influence my artwork. But subtly? Subtly, yeah, I, I mean, everything comes through, you know, it's a, that's a wonderful right. part about art. It's like a, it's like an ink blot, you know, and, and people are gonna see what they wanna see. And it's no different than, you know, uh, I guess uh, if somebody writes something in a certain state of mind, you can read it and feel if they were happy or angry or sad or disturbed, you know? So mm -hmm. I try to relate to people the best I can. I, I, but I'm sure it has its influences I, subconsciously. Consciously, not so much. I, I, don't, I personally don't think. So others may agree, disagree. That's, <laughs> again, it's really, that's a really subjective question. I, it's, you were encouraged to become an artist. Right? Absolutely. I was actually encouraged the opposite direction, yes. Um, I was told that, you know, art is not a means for an income. Art is, uh, you know, there's no health insurance, there's no this, there's no 401k, you know. And, and, um, and I believed that for a long time, and, and as I kept doodling and started, you know, and got the rock hall and it got into Cleveland galleries or gotten into this or gotten into that, I realized that it's just like life, it's just like a regular job. It is what you make it. I mean, if you if you want something bad enough, go after it. And if if you want it that bad and there's enough love, you'll you'll absolutely get what you want out of it. So you get out what you put in. So we're, we're I know that you have worked out at Smithfield mm -hmm. and you had the walk hall. So tell us some of the places that people could see wow. what you did. Um I just did a show out of uh Two zero uh, studio two zero nine one in Cuyahoga Falls. Um, I just added stuff in the art center. Um, I'm on the head to the graphic or er, the. I uh, I'm on the graphic arts advisory board out of ATAC. Um, I'm vice president of Lakeshore Artists. Um, the stuff really goes everywhere. It's uh there's there's a couple potential ideas that are bouncing around um, that still are yet to go to council, but you know of some possible mural-esque type ideas. Um, the work itself has been the Rock Hall, Smithfield. I mean, it's, it, I mean, there's corporate collectors like um, entertainment companies down in Florida, um, the album artwork, uh, geez, my mind's running blank. Um, Project Hope for the Homeless has my stuff, you know, um, in fact, they have a street jacket I painted years ago. A street jacket? A straight, a legitimate mental house street jacket. Oh. Yes. So, I uh, the bounds. I mean, I think the furthest I've gotten my artwork currently is uh, Amsterdam. I think is the farthest from us mm -hmm. currently, but it's it's all over the United States. Mostly privatized people that have come in and commissioned something or seen something or uh, a family member saw in Senate or, you know, there's a ton of stuff down in um, the Carolinas and so on and so forth. So it's pretty much everywhere. A lot of private people though, more so than the corporate end. The corporate end is mostly up here. So. What's the, art? is there a good art community in Asheville County? Absolutely. We, we, a lot of people don't know this. We have more artists that I've seen anywhere. I mean, don't get me wrong, you have like Cleveland, which is a gigantic metropolitan area, which I wouldn't say we have more artists in Cleveland, but for the little community we have, 
we have a plethora of fantastic artists, and I mean fantastic artists, like artists that I'm mind blown by. And, and we're all condensed in this little area, and we don't get a lot of love because we're 60 miles from Erie, we're 60 miles from Cleveland. We kind of land on the in-between of everything. But no, we have a plethora of fantastic artists in this town. 